Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Schroth Quick Fit Harnesses in Black for 2005 to 2017 Mustangs. These are a four point harness and they utilize the factory seat belt buckles. They're going to be perfect for someone who wants a harness for track time, but someone that wants something that's not complicated to install and that's very easy to uninstall so you can utilize your back seat still. They cost about $270 and I'll call the install a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. We'll go ahead now and show you how we got these in the car. All right guys, so we're gonna start the install by getting our passenger side harness in first. And these are side specific, so just make sure you have the correct side. So we're gonna go ahead, get this laid out in the seat. This portion of it is gonna wrap around the headrest, so we'll lay these here for now. The easiest thing that we can do is we're gonna take this buckle right here and plug it right into where our seatbelt would go. This is why these are side specific. You need this on the left side for the passenger side and you need it on the right for the driver's side. This right here is actually gonna bolt down to the car using the factory bolt. So we're gonna go ahead, move our seat all the way forward so we can access our factory bolt back here. So we'll tilt the seat forward as well. Okay, so at this point, we are going to unbuckle the harness from here because we obviously can't reach. We're going to be going right here with this part of the harness. So we can unbuckle and separate that. Then this is a T50 Torx bit that's holding this bolt in right here. I'm gonna remove this bolt, we'll put our harness on the other side and then bolt it back down. All right, so this part of the harness is gonna go right up against the body of the car. We did have a spacer that fell out. We're going to then reinstall our spacer with our bolt. We're just gonna line those up right here. And we're gonna line up through the harness and back into the car and bolt this back down. I'm starting this bolt by hand because I definitely don't wanna cross thread this. We wanna make sure this still pivots at the end of the day. So our harness needs to be sitting right here. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this now. From here, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear seat. Now there are two latches in the middle of the rear seat cushions. We're just gonna push those latches back towards the rear of the car and lift out the bottom of the seat. So one of the latches is right here. I'll push that forward. There's another latch right here. We'll push that forward. And then this whole seat bottom will remove. So with the rear seat removed, we can see where we're gonna be bolting to next. We are going to use this factory seatbelt mounting location. This is also a T50 Torx bit, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that now. So we're gonna be installing this tail section of the harness into that factory location. To get this removed, we're simply gonna push up on this piece here, and then it'll unbuckle for us. Make sure your seatbelt's not twisted when you go to reinstall this. And you're gonna have to make sure you get the hook in the correct location. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this bolt. All right guys, so one thing you do wanna make sure of after you bolt this down is that you have this tail piece of the harness in the correct orientation, and that may require bending the bracket slightly. So you guys can see when we reinstall the seat, we want this to be sitting flush up against the side of the car here so we can buckle right in. We don't want this pointed any other direction because it's gonna put stress on the rear seat. So ours is sitting really nicely here, flush up against the side of the car. When we reinstall the rear seat, we won't have any issue with this here. Okay, so we are going to now install the driver's side harness and it's gonna go in the exact same way. So we'll put this portion of the harness over our headrest. You do wanna make sure that the harness is laying completely flat at all times. And that's one nice thing about this harness and the material that it's made out of. It does naturally wanna lay flat. So we're gonna go ahead and buckle this into our seatbelt right here. So we're gonna do the same thing with this side here. This is gonna go up against the body of the car with our stock seat bolt bracket. All right, so we're gonna move our seat all the way forward so we can get to our bolt back here. We'll tilt it forward too, just to give us a little more room. We'll unbuckle this section of the harness so we can bolt it down to the body. So we're gonna lift up on the tab right here and pull the plastic cover off. Once again, we have a T50 Torx. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that bolt. All right, our bracket is gonna go underneath so we'll put it through the bolt. It's gonna go up against the body. Once again, make sure your seatbelt stayed straight in this process. 
We'll just start this by hand for a couple threads just to make sure it's not cross-threaded. And we'll go ahead and tighten this down. All right, so now we are going to bolt in this tail section of the harness. Once again, to remove this, you'll push up and it'll release. All right, so once again, our tail section is gonna bolt to our factory seatbelt location right here. So we'll go ahead and pull this bolt out. All right, so same thing here. Our tail section is gonna go up against the car underneath. Once again, you guys can see how straight this bracket is. The bracket will bend slightly when I go ahead and bolt this down. We wanna make sure that the harness ends up sitting like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, once again, get this started by hand. Make sure the clip on our bracket goes into the hole that it's supposed to go to. I'm gonna move this line out of the way because I don't wanna pinch that underneath my harness. And I'm going to position the tailpiece of the harness so it's pointed in the correct direction. Get my bracket in the location and tighten down. Okay, now we can get our rear seat cushion back into place. So you wanna make sure that you get these plastic tabs up underneath the seat backs. You also wanna make sure you pull through your seat belts, or at least get them lined up. You wanna make sure you pull your harness out so that you can buckle it in when you need to. All right guys, so at this point, we are ready to make the connections in our rear seat. So we're gonna go ahead and move our seat back to our sitting location. Uh, just keep in mind that once we get the seat back in our sitting location, we may just have to adjust the harness so it can reach our buckles. So we're gonna move our seat back. We'll also tilt the seat back. And we have the harnesses sitting like this for now, but do keep in mind that this part of the harness will need to go behind the headrest. So we're gonna go ahead and move it back now. So the harness needs to go over the rear of the seat like this. So the female side of the harness will plug in over here. All right, so then the male end of the harness will plug into our factory seat belt buckle right here. And we are just gonna leave things loose for now until we get this completely buckled in. All right, the last thing we have to buckle in is this right here. Once again, we'll just take our harness. Okay guys, with our driver's side harness completely installed, I'll show you how to get in this. You're actually gonna hit this buckle right here. The harness will open up for you. Go ahead, sit in the seat. This part here is gonna go over your shoulder. Then you're gonna buckle yourself in. Obviously from here, you guys are gonna have to adjust your harness. You have a couple of different adjustment points. So obviously you have your over the shoulder adjustment on both sides. You also have your lap adjustment. We actually wanna tighten down our lap before we get our shoulders too tight because we wanna make sure that this is sitting nice and low across our pelvis. That's actually one of the positives of this harness is that it does sit low on your pelvis, number one, for safety reasons, and number two, because it really holds you in your seat and you won't slide around at all. So we'll go ahead. We have two adjustment points on the pelvis down here. We'll get those tight and then we'll get the adjustment over our shoulders tight as well. One thing that's really nice about this harness is that it does reuse those factory seatbelt buckles. That's great for two reasons. One, because it makes it very easy to install, and two, because you won't have your seatbelt chime going off. You guys get to maintain your factory seatbelts, so anytime you need extra storage space or you wanna have passengers in the rear of your car, it's very easy to uninstall these and just go back to using your factory seatbelts. The straps here are really nice. They're about two inches wide and they do have almost a memory film on the inside. And that's great because once you get them conformed to your body, they're very comfortable. They also wanna sit very flat and that's great for safety reasons. Now that we've gone over a couple of the features, let's go ahead and finish up our passenger side. All right, moving on to the passenger side, we are going to move our seat back and recline it back as well. And then we'll get our harness in the correct position so we can buckle in the back here. Okay, once again, we need to make sure our harness is sitting correctly on the seat, so we are going to move this portion of it behind the headrest. So it sits like that. All right, so just like on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our female connection. That's gonna go towards the outside of the car. Our male connection is gonna go in our factory seatbelt buckle. We'll go ahead and just plug this in. All right, now we'll plug this side into our factory seatbelt. 
All right, the last thing we have to do is plug this portion of our harness in. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind that you can always check these out more online. I'm Stephanie, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.